Buy camera, press button, shoot wedding. You know, it all sounded so bloody simple. Right, so here I am, record... Um, no, that's not it. No. Need a bit of help, mate. Huh? Well, first of all, look, you've got it all on manual settings. I mean... And then, mate, you zoomed right in. You need to come out. There you go. Hey, Full picture. You. Here's me. <laughs> Cheers, though, man. So, uh, Brave Moyle here, somewhere over the North Sea, uh, making the symbolic journey home to see my brother, to be his best man. Uh, this is Chris. Hello. He showed me how to use the camera. That's nice. And, ooh, this is Kyla, who... For a free can of Heineken, is about to get a starring role in my picture. It's three euros. So, this was it. 10.15, May the 3rd, arriving home to be my brother's best man. I've just bought a camera and decided to film the build-up to his wedding. At this point, I'm exactly six weeks and three days away from totally destroying their marriage. I didn't know it then, of course. <laughs> All I knew was I was coming home to see my brother for the first time in three years. A really magical thing to get on film. One of those things you can't repeat. Wrong! Oh, bollocks. We're gonna have to do this again, sorry. Sit, sit, sit. What are we doing? Oh, I just want to get your reaction on camera. I'm the trying first to get dressed for you... a party. Hey, right. Look, this will take less than a minute. God's sake, it's important. Right. Right? right. Ready? Yes. Action. Tim, my brother, how lovely to see you. Is that it? Well, I'm leaving a little gap so you can say it's lovely to see you. Oh, it's lovely to see you too. Thank you. And as such, I've got you the most incredible wedding present. A toaster. No. An erotic fertility symbol. Better. <gasps> an erotic fertility symbol that also toasts. Ta-da! A camera? No, I'm gonna make a film of your wedding. <laughs> no, you're not. The highs, the lows, it's no. all shed. Listen, I'm gonna make this your wedding. Your film made with love by me, so that one day you and... Saskia. Uh, Saskia, thank you, can look back at this, show it to your grandchildren. All right, well, yes, thank you very much. Okay, but no swearing and no nudity, all right? Scouts on air. Hi, sexy. What do you have? Do you mind? I'm telling you, this is going to be a warts and all wedding video. And there, ladies, is the wart. This is what people want to see. That's the money shot right there. The looks and the brains. Yeah, you're funny. Hey, how's it going? Well, you're the brains. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. Look at yeah, that right, bum. Right, Look at that right, bum. Right, right. That's why she's marrying you. She says she knows you, by the way. Saskia. Huh? I think she went to your school. Saskia Critchley. Does well, any bells? No, because her mum remarried. At school, she'd have been Saskia Dutton. Fuck off. What? You're marrying Saskia Dutton. What? The Saskia Dutton. Highest non-attendance record in school history. Suspended on an almost fortnightly basis. Saskia Dutton was a legend. That is brilliant. OK, can you stop this? That's amazing, though. Like you. Why not me? <laughs> because you're you. That's ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. <laughs> it's for Tim. Can you stop this? Uh, hang on. The Duttons are permanently skint. They can't live round here. Yeah? I don't believe that. Well, I guess things have changed a bit. Holy shit! <laughs> this was it. The exact moment I entered a part of Cheshire I'd only heard tell of as a kid. The part they call the Beverly Hills of the UK. Um, Alex, this is uh, Rafe, my brother. Rafe, this is Alex Saskia's mother. Hello, Rafe. Hello. What's that? He's uh, making a film. Uh, as a wedding present. Oh, don't I'd have spent more time on my makeup. 
Right. <laughs> Welcome, Ray. Today, there are still children from low-income backgrounds whose lives are destroyed by the ravages of alcohol abuse. Your presence at the champagne tasting means we can send some of them on the <gasps> These are the three most important women in Cheshire. This is Kim Ling of Yangling Restaurants, you know, Wilmslow, The Edge, everywhere. Only eight, darling. Only eight, she says. Tara Devlin of Devlin's. And Jackie Mitchell Baines of Mitchell Baines Mercedes. Hello. Not to mention the bride to be. Saskia. Saskia, come and meet the best man. <laughs> Saskia Dutton. Rafe Moyle. Fuck me. OK, let me just explain my reaction quickly. This is how I remember Saskia Dutton. The craziest girl at school when she bothered to turn up. The sort of girl your mum would warn you about. She went to parties like this and hang out with blokes like that. But now... So, how did the two of you meet? <laughs> we met at a road haulage industry gala night. Ooh! All right, Sounds steady. Exciting. Yes, all right. Was that a benefit for all the cyclists they'd mowed down that year? It was a benefit for children, Rafe. OK? It's a Christmas party. My stepdad, well, his company, Rigid Box. Yeah, all right, why don't you go back there? Where you oh. are? Right, keep an eye on you. She smells nicer. Go yeah, on, right. go away. So, Tim, how does a guy like you propose to a girl like Saskia? Uh, we... It was, it was in an, Chester. Yeah, we, we came out the of city. the restaurant and um, I sat down restaurant. by the fountains he roundabout did. and... Yeah popped the question. And he timed the fountain so they went off just as I gave my answer. Mm. Which was a bit embarrassing because I said no initially. <laughs> <laughs> She's joking. Alex's charity event. Perfection. I'm blushing here. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Do you remember the buffet for famine relief? That was... Oh, my oh, God. I still got half of it in the freezer. Have you? Really? I'll have I'll be yes. back for the next one. <laughs> it's in a good cause. It's no, 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 no. Actually, we do, we do. We raise a lot of money. We try and yes. put something back. Yes. Like today. We've got great very lives. Very good cause. Very, yeah. very Let's drink to that. Let's drink the alcohol to, abuse yes. children. Uh, absolutely. Great lad. Great lad, this. So, as Saskia's stepdad, I suppose you're doing the father of the bride speech, are you, Des? No, oh, no. that's a great idea. You are, Des, you should. No, 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 no. We would love that. Oh, good. Thanks. Are you from around here? Initially, yes. Uh, I'm a traveller now. What? I travel. Country to country or lay-by to lay-by? Abroad. Right. For a minute there, you had me reaching for my handbag. <laughs> because... <laughs> If I were a traveller, I might try to rob you. <laughs> so... Of course not. They don't all try to rob you. I know the adults keep you talking. Children rob you. Ray, where are you? I'm over here in England in about 1700. Oh, you've met. Uh, Rafe, this is Saskia's grandmother, Patricia. Patricia, this is my brother, Rafe. Brother? Yes. Here's me asking if you know Manor House. You went. Ah, no. Uh, Tim got a scholarship. No, yes, I yes. went to uh, Roten High, same as Saskia. She was in the year above me. Uh, was above me in most things, to be perfectly honest. When Saskia got told off, it was by the headmaster. I only ever managed the deputy head. In fact, the last time I saw Saskia Dutton, she was being carried out of the chemistry lab, a teacher at either end, having drunk an entire test tube of industrial alcohol. Man, it was so funny. Do you remember? Uh, Tim. Another drink. What a good idea. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is the day, this is the actual day. Saskia Dutton is meant to be in this photograph, but, um, well, she knew all the teachers would be out on the field, so that was the day of the chemistry lab raid. <laughs> if she'd have looked up as she was being carried into that ambulance, she'd yeah, have I've seen. Got a duvet and pillows and stuff. Look, look, look! Cool. <laughs> Have you really not opened 
opened any of these boxes for mum and dad? Well, you know, I've been kind of busy having a job, getting married, buying this duvet. Oh, come on, man. This is this is you and me in these boxes. This is us, our whole lives. Yeah. OK, well, knock yourself out. I've got a bit of an early start, all right? All right. Good work. Night, mate. Five thirty a.m. The only people awake are milkmen, crack addicts, and women preparing for a wedding. Do you have to do this? Of course he does. His background. You filmed the home cinema. Yeah. Stick a kebab shop up there, and you'll never have to leave the house. Oh, I wish, don't you? That you had more time at home sometimes. My husband dares with his company. The amount of social functions. Is it very hard being Mrs. Rigid Box? Oh, well, not hard, hard. No, I'm not complaining. God, there's people in India with no legs. It's just that... Could you... Sorry, could you take your shoes? Oh, right. Sorry. It's just with it being porcelain. Yeah. Thanks, darling. This week, for example, two separate nights were taking clients to the concerts at... Do you know the classical concerts at Bratton Castle? Do you know those? They are amazing. Full orchestra outside under the stars. Costs a fortune to get in, but well, what if you do it like we used to? Yeah, I'm sure Rafe doesn't want to know about that. <laughs> we used to climb the hill from the other side, watch it all from behind for free. <laughs> Bag of sandwiches. Actually, Rafe, could you put your shoes back on? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Okay, get ready for the slow motion and slow motion. Meet Tim Moyle, my big brother. <laughs> oh, don't do that. So, uh, tell me about your job. Well, I'm head of a department which oversees systems across the various council departments and the operations, and it makes sure that they interface together in a way that... Away. OK, piss right off. Thank you. Here is where I had my oh, first come pint. on. Put a bit of life into it. Here is where I had my first pint. Yeah, all right, thank you. And so it was here. Amongst this scrubland, that Tim found an adult magazine. Rafe. Upon taking it home, Grandma found it in the airing cupboard. Rafe. And said to him, Tim, if there's anything you don't understand about women, you need only ever ask. And this is the bridge where Rafe would like me to tell you about something, but over there is the electric fence where Rafe, aged five, electrocuted his penis by trying to wee against it Tim. and had to be taken to the hospital with yeah. his pants down. No. And the doctor, who I thought had a terrific sense of humour, said, oh, from now on, no. every time you do a poo, your nose will light up and little Rafe burst into tears. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Hello, and welcome to Mr and Mrs, the show where we find out just how much the old bride and groom know about each other. I really don't want to do this, Rafe. I told you, she wouldn't like Put the box on, it's be good. Stupid. So, Saskia, uh -huh. if you could get married anywhere in the world, where in the world would you get married? I don't know. Like oh. a mountain, or maybe side of a volcano, or really? the sky. Yeah. You're not meant to be able to hear in the box. I thought you liked the grove now. Oh. I do. I like it. I mean, if we have to have a load of guests, uh, then it's fine. Yeah, right, fine. Look, uh, Tim, <clears throat> people often refer to me as the human Las Vegas. But if Saskia were any city in the world, what city would she be, do you think? Oh, um, I don't know. Leicester? Leicester. You're not meant to be able to hear What's when you're in the Leicester? box. Tim. Oh. Le I mean... it's, it's bright, it's central, it's got great connections. Oh. Which is okay. nice. Makes sense. You've been? No. Fair enough. Right, put those on. Go. I guess I am Lester. Put that Thank there. You. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Tim, what's the most embarrassing thing that's happened during sexual intercourse? Don't you dare. You're not meant that. to be. Ah! Top, turn it down. Tim. Jesus. What does Saskia think is your most irritating habit? Probably say I don't really have any. 
You sure? Yeah. Fine answer? <laughs> okay. Right. Saskia. Yes. What is Tim's most irritating habit? Oh, God, snoring. No. <laughs> so. Do you say rolling down when he rolls down the cereal packet? Counting my drinks? No. When he puts the toilet paper in a V. Yeah, okay. that's really. Oh, no, did you, did you think I was going to say <laughs> when he folds up his dirty underwear before he puts it in the laundry? <laughs> That's not so annoying. I don't actually find that annoying. I think it's funny. It makes sense. Yeah, I know. No, but, it, I mean, you get more yeah. in the laundry basket. No, I just, I thought, because I thought maybe you thought that was funny. Many people find getting married is a time to re-examine their atheism. Hello. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. hi. Reverend Dobbs. Uh, Tim. Tim. Hi. Hi, Saskia. Saskia. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh, sorry. This is um, this is the best man. He's just doing like a film thing for oh, the wedding. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I'm quite used to being in front of a camera. Oh. Yeah. Um, would you like to come in? Yeah. Welcome to Damascus. Right. So. Um, this is it. This is it. Said to Joseph, I don't think this is our donkey. Every time. I think we should remember. Cool. So, um, could we? So the, the wedding is that? Um, could we the, the wedding? Oh, of course. We, we sure. were, I yeah, suppose we were the wedding. Yeah. Are you both virgins? Wow, um... Saskia wasn't the only bride that summer. Also getting hitched was Zana, daughter of Alex's friend slash rival, Jackie Mercedes Franchise. Oh. After a perfect ceremony and a flawless dove release, experts were predicting this would be the Cheshire wedding of the year. Gold leaf champagne. Oh, wonderful. Cheshire mushroom, picked this morning by the groom. Really? Complimentary camera. Lovely. Frozen sugared rose petals. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jackie had hired a professional quite. film crew. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, they had a lot of fancy kit, but they lacked a sort of creative integrity yeah. demonstrated by a more independent filmmaker. So is your wedding going to be like this? Yeah, a bit like this. I mean, you know, it's a wedding, isn't it? You have a bit in the church, and then now you do the, the milling around and <laughs> milling. People. Well, you know, general milling. Boys. Detail. I mean, even the canopy, you know? They thought of these little diamondy things. It's a lovely touch. Could you clear the basin so I can look at that? This, oh, the toilets, Elmsley and Barnes in a pool. Oh! I'm so sorry. The wedding was perfection, but Jackie hadn't finished. Zana was going to sing for us. <laughs> a simple love song sung from the heart. No, this was a Cheshire wedding, so. <laughs> Saskia. 
smoke, smoke, more smoke. morning, I found a very different Alex. With the favourite fallen at the last, the race for Cheshire Wedding of the Year was wide open. Alex decided to pick up the pace. Suddenly, I had a new camera and shitloads of kit. Sorry, sorry, I got a bit of our reflection in there. Sorry, Alex, I have to do that again. Oh, come on. Hi there. My name's... Sorry, Roger, <coughs> lift the mic up a bit. Yep. Sorry. Hi, my name's Roger, and I'm delighted because I've just been asked to write a love song for this video. <laughs> well, we, we said if you held the mic, we'd discuss it, so it's not a... All right, no, Roger. And you can find yourself a no, don't be like that. Come on, then. you're definitely doing it. You are definitely, definitely doing it. Definitely. <laughs> Cheers, man. Oh, uh, Rog, don't stand there. What? You're in the shop. And this is the Merry Bell, modelled by Trisha. Trisha's put on a little weight recently, but the Merry Bell's woven with elastic panels, so it can cope with your donut. <laughs> Rog, you're in shot again. Can I have a go? No, you can't just have a go. I've got a tone here, a style developing. But this thing's killing my arms. You wouldn't ask Rembrandt, can I have a go on your paintbrush, would you? Don't be a twat. Don't use the word twat at a wedding fair. Twat! It's just Rog, shut up. Oh. The brother made it. Actually, uh, yeah, have a go. Cool. So, our guinea pig today is Lauren. Lauren, have you set a date? I have Penny, 30th of January, three years time, Maerstone Castle. Three years? Wow. Is your groom all right about that long await? No, well, I haven't actually met anyone yet, but if I don't book now, I won't get the venue. And with our specialist technology, we put weights within the bouquet so that the extra weight of the posy will tense your biceps, it will strengthen your triceps, and it will eliminate any risk of bingo wings on your big day. Yeah. But also to try and find something that's compatible with your current obviously, resistance weight. Obviously, weight otherwise you don't want to be like... And the next day, you'll be, you don't want to be yes. stiff on the morning yeah, after yeah, your stop wedding it. day. Mm -hmm. Stop it. The heat of the room warms them up, so at the special moment, Filled with butterflies. <laughs> that is stupendous. <laughs> That's oh, we've got great. To that. Yeah, got you to have got that. to. Is that one dead? <gasps> They're so pretty. No, look, they're just sleeping. Dead. No, 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 no. no. The they're all dead. Look, show no, the those camera. are all show dead. The camera, look, that's no, 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 that one's alive. They're I think it's eating that one. Look, this one right here. Well, let's get this one on you. Oh, get it off. Please, let me get off. I don't want it. Get it off. Please, let me get off. I'm gonna. I don't like. Sorry. They're nice. I don't want that. That's actually. weird. I, really, I don't. Oh, sorry. On, I don't like it. Just set look lovely. That's... Don't worry. I'm we'll proud. All right. We'll have Thank you. three boxes for yes. each. Um, so we've got eight. Well, boxes, um, making it personal to Saskia. You know, I think that's what. Don't we? What makes a wedding special? Those little personal ideas, personal touches, that make it absolutely entirely Saskia's. And I hope that's what Jenna's going to come up with. Hmm. So, what's it like being a wedding planner? Oh, um, well, being a, being a wedding planner is a dream job for a woman. You get married six times a year and you never have to go home with the men. <laughs> and you used to be an air hostess? Uh, yes, well, I actually I stopped being an air hostess after one particularly bad flight into Helsinki, after which I 
I sort of lost confidence, you know, in, um, in my love for the job. And I, I suffered a severe loss of drive, severe loss of, of motivation. Plus, um, I started to um, scream quite a bit during turbulence, so that wasn't so good. Remember one thing. People come for the bride and the groom, but they go home talking about the butterfly release. Wow. This is going to be really special. To get some tips for Tim and Saskia's first dance, we've managed to get Konstantin Yevchinsky from the Moscow Ballet. Um, so our thought, hi, our thought was, um, this is kind of our so well, not our song, but the song that was playing when, on the night we met, so. Начинайте, танцуйте. Весь день на вас тратить не буду. Um, do it, the dance, uh, now. Uh. Вы будто еще не спали друг с другом. Двигайтесь, но на чужие. Um, you two have never had sex. Ну что? Еще ни разу не трахнулись. You, you dance like you've never had sex. Um, have, you, have you had sex? Not since we got here. No. Dance is passion. It's not here. It's here. <laughs> Продолжайте танцевать. Ни чувства, ни ритма, ни координации. Делать этот танец. It's, it's shit, basically. Ужас, ужас, унявший uh, Terrible член. shit, uh, penis, limp. Баба рана, неведущие Drooping, чувства, like, эротики. Like, wildebeest uh, or any bison-like creature. A uh, pissed bison. Oh, no, don't yeah, 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 tell oh, oh, If you just, um... Uh, <gasps> Your partner, feel it. Is that right, Alex? Did you feel his passion? Sorry? <sighs> Gonna put the camera here. No idea what I'm filming. Who was it who said, you never know what's around the corner? Um, John F. Kennedy. No, I think it was Forrest Gump, wasn't it? Huh? Chocolates thing. Anyway. You plan for one venue, and suddenly one you could only dream of gets a wedding license. Mom, what are you talking about? Has, has something happened with the grove now? What's going on? Blindfolds off. <laughs> if there was a lesson to be learned from the sinking of the Titanic, I don't know, like something about bigger not always being better, Alex was studiously ignoring it. <laughs> Yours. 
I mean, look at this. The first couple to be married at Rosthorne Hall. How does what? that sound? Great. <laughs> Tim? Yeah. Rafe Moyle reporting here. Uh, as I'm showing you absolutely everything that happened in the run-up to the wedding, uh, I think it's important that we document some of these speed bumps on the path to the happy day. One day you'll look back on that and really laugh. Next on the card is the 325 Bridget Box Haulage Stakes. Class 5 race over 7 furlongs. Um, girls, I'm afraid there's been a change of venue for the wedding. Change so, venue? new oh, invitation. Oh, oh, they have a double book, not the clothes. No, 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 no. It's just that the, somewhere else came up, which had always been Saskia's favourite oh anyway. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's not a hassle, <gasps> is it? Had, had you booked cabs? Sure. Alex, it, it, it's Rosthorn Hall. Wow, it's Rosthorn oh. Hall. Uh, did you manage to get that? It's incredible. <gasps> Amazing. That's um, it's it's unheard of, actually. Wow. Brilliant. Brilliant. You're Stunning. getting all this. Sorry, but if you don't take the first time, then the reactions aren't so real. Thanks, Ray. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's fucking ridiculous. It's too big. It's far too big. But it's cold, Jackie. That's the thing. She'll never heat it. So, Des, how's the big speech coming along? How's this for now? Ladies and gentlemen, most of you know I am not Saskia's biological father. But I like to think I'm a non-biological one. Will, will that get on? Um... Bird cages oh. with real birds in them, no. and you dye the bird no. to match the. I we can have a white one no. and a black. Actually, I don't, don't want white bird. Have black don't want. Bird. I don't want birds. Want darling, look. Picture frames on twigs. Why? 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 Why not? Why not? And the doctor said, "I can't see a parrot, madam, but I can tell you about a cockatoo." Inappropriate. No. Weak grass. Just knock it back. Good for your teeth. Uh, wheatgrass. I agree with you. Mum, Wheat I... Wheatgrass. Wheatgrass! Thank you, Jenna. Jenna's being marvellous. She's... Something with a horn. Thank you. <laughs> Stop it. I'm going to be your mother in there in a week. <laughs> Forget my head. Right. Oh, you got that down. Good. Good. As you enter, the falcon flies the length of the church and delivers you the wedding rings. All right. Jenna, you're a genius. You are a genius. It's we'll add that. Definitely. Fantastic. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's, I don't know, it's part of the theme. It's a theme, oh, isn't it? Oh, what? Birds of prey theme. Okay. Sorry, I must have just missed that meeting. We decided Saskia. to have a predator-themed wedding. 
Okay, it's fine. Are I'll, you at the meeting? I'll change it. I totally I wasn't at the meeting. I'll change it, okay? okay? I'll tell them you're not happy with the Falcons delivering the rings. Let's have a couple of penguins with them on trays. Yeah? We might nice as well. Idea. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So, I was thinking we should film at the Summer House. Are you going to watch that, Rafe? Is that why you're making it? It's a present for you. Yeah, well, stop it, okay? Just put it down. If it's a present for me, then. You know when somebody offers you a present, it is customary to accept. There's actually a tribe in eastern Siberia where if one brother offers you another... Can you get the salsa out of the fridge, please? You know, I don't actually think it's the camera that's the problem. I do, Ray. No, it's not. It's that you don't back up so right, I'll get it myself. You roll over to Alex all what? the time. To Alex, you anything you roll said... over to anyone. Oh, don't be silly. If she told you you were having an underwater wedding, you'd be round there in a frog suit. What I want, Ray, from you is for you to be there in the middle of this nightmare, helping me organise this wedding instead of just dicking around around the edges. You, you, you say no, no for the no, sake of no, saying no, no. I, Mum, you just you've always been like this. I say, no, I don't like braces. braces. No, I because don't I want to go to finishing school. Braces. But you've got to try things, Saskia. Oh, OK, I've got to try things. Yes. Well, um, I've never tried heroin. <laughs> oh, so could you stop, you Ray? Think? Can you stop heroin. filming, please? Can I try some? Probably not. Mum. This is ridiculous. You asked me to travel in a Rolls Royce. Yes. Fine. Yes. Then you change your mind. You want to travel in a Bentley. Don't you want magic, Fine. Saskia? Don't you want enchantment? Don't you want Mom. your day to... Don't you want it to be special? Mom, are you taking heroin? Huh? Because every time I tell you what I want for my own wedding, it's like you're not there. Do not say that. I'm not a monster. I'm just a mother who wants her daughter's wedding day to be special. I didn't like to say in front of your mother, but I'm pretty sure that horse had the horn. <laughs> you like you could do with a drink. We're there. There. Okay, that's it. Oh, crikey, I'm on now, am I? Uh, yes, you are officially part of our wedding video. Right. Show him the ring, darling. Here we go. Oh, that's lovely. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> We're you. very happy. Well, well, well done. Um, so you're looking for wine for how many? Oh, God, how many is 600. it? 600. 600, yeah. 600. Yeah. Six, six, 600. 600. Yeah, we are, we're up to six, we're up to six now. Yeah. yeah. Right, 600. Right, OK, well, I'll just uh, sit, sit down. Make yourselves at home. I'll just get a little oh. select seat for the bride. Thank you, my darling. Don't mention it, my sweet. Just won't, won't be long. Just make yourselves comfortable. 600, thank six. you. Yes, yeah, 600. 600 guests who we shall now try all of the wine for. Mmm. Mmm. You do, you get the almonds just at the end, don't It just you? nips in there, doesn't mm. it? And when everything else has gone out the door, the almond just nips in there. I can taste licorice. And licorice as well, okay. yes. Yeah. Yes, well spotted, yes. Do you have any others with licorice? Um, I think... Uh, oh, actually, yes. <laughs> Hold tight. <laughs> now we're in business. That's lovely. I'm, get, I'm getting mango. Are you? Yeah. Mango? But jasmine as well? Mm -hmm. A bit of jasmine in there? Mm -hmm. Pretty moorish. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lovely. Yes, thank you. Now, sorry. This has a lovely herbaceous, a green aroma. So we can compare them. Let's get an, an, another of the... Another the, of the... The, 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 one, um, the one. The one before. Can you see the bottle opener anywhere? <laughs> you're so funny! You're so funny! You're so funny! It's a happy happiness. It's a happy happiness all round, and plenty more where that came from. You just see what you want to see, don't you? You just bloody see what you want to see. <laughs> So, do you want to hear the song that I've written? Yeah. His name is Tim, your name is Saskia. What? Is that... Is that it? I can't remember what I did after that, to be honest. Can I just say, I don't think I want my wedding song written by the orgasm gun guy.
Bum, bum, OK, just to clarify, yeah, yeah. at bum, school, bum, bum, Roger and I were in a band. Right. I say band, bum, we only had the one song. Dr. Sargasso's orgasm gun. And then... Actually, I say song, it was really just one line that we repeated over and over again whilst everyone pretended to have an orgasm. Which went down surprisingly poorly at the Christmas Carol concert. Who gave her the spliff? You? Uh, what? Hello. Come on. I'm still in the room. Yeah. I can hear yeah, you. Yeah, right you are. Tim! <laughs> Don't laugh at him. You're just like, yeah, fine, whatever she said. She phoned you. Oh, that's bollocks. That is such a load yes, of bollocks. Yes, you are. I've never heard such shit in my life. I, what, what did you do all day? I got pissed off and I just wanted to go out and I was raped huh? there. She just needed a break, you know, from the wedding stuff. Don't make this harder than it is already. So you've worked out the title of your autobiography then. <laughs> oh. Hiring Ross Fern Hall attracted the attention of the local glossy magazine, which promptly made Tim and Saskia the stars of their Wedding of the Month feature. Just this required a photo shoot. Smile, just remember you're in love. Meanwhile, out on the terrace, Britain's next top model was getting ready to have her photo taken too. This is my favourite view, looking from the house down towards the lake. Just look this way, please. Lovely. And again. Oh, that's nice. With Patricia in such an excellent mood, I thought I'd ask some burning questions. So, Patricia, it must have been a very different family before Alex met Des. Not much money around. Was it? I'm assuming Alex and Saskia's dad must have separated. <laughs> Probably about 20 minutes after conception. Right. <laughs> Might be hard to track him down for an interview then. <laughs> well, you could stand on the Eiffel Tower and shout out, has anyone had sex with a waitress on holiday? <laughs> but being in France, of course, I don't suppose many hands would stay down, would they? <laughs> Right, and then she says, but being France, I doubt many hands would stay. Right, if you could even try to make this. Here is the groom and the best man. <coughs> this is Luke from Exclusive Videos, who's going to be shooting the wedding video, so the pressure's off you, Rafe. You can focus on your main job now. Rafe, you can focus on being best man. This one was shot by the third Lord Rostern in Kina, I think. Early 1800s. A magnificent beast. Mm. I could let Alex have her official version of events, but I decided I was going to keep filming as well. Undercover. <laughs> Don't start there, really. Anyway, these ones were in West Africa. Chased them for days. A very rare breed, almost extinct. Terrible trouble hunting them down. And round here, Special one, very special. Oh, the jewel in the crown. This was the one the third lord was most proud of. Good. You don't see many of these. No, I can imagine. Couldn't stuff the whole thing, of course. The rest we made into cushions. <laughs> Saturday afternoon, 1978, Chester Zoo. Very difficult shot. Children everywhere. These magnificent specimens. For me, they sum up what was really great about this country. They're a constant reminder that the English were never afraid to shoot a grazing herbivore right up the arse from behind a wall of Nigerians. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. And um, it's my favorite. I actually stuffed him myself, but it was too rainy to go hunting, so we bought him from a pet shop, 
took him home, kicked him down the stairs. I say, Bam Bam, old girl, what's through here? Ah. Uh... The fourth lord, who married into the Marquiage family. And finally, the fifth lord. My late husband. Oh! Oh! Look! Here he is! Harold, you've lost weight! Have they not been feeding you? Sass, Sass, grab the camera. He was wonderful, very kind, very sensitive. Very Christian man. I still feel his presence everywhere in this house. Hello! Lord Rostern here, just reliving some of my favourite moments from out on safari. Do you know, up in the savannah once, a chap told me you can't call yourself a real hunter till you've put the old chap in a tiger's mouth. I said to him, Sir, if you'd met Lady Rostern, you'd know this that's is not my the chap that's done some blessed. Oh, my God! Hi, this is Saskia. I am reporting on a camera which has just been confiscated by my mother from Rafe, who is currently in there getting a major bollocking. What's he done? What did he do? Oh, no, it's fine. No, we, we were just... We were in the, the private rooms and, um... We? Why are you treating this like it's a laugh? This is a wedding, Saskia. This is not a laugh. This is a wedding. And it's close and it's getting closer and you treating it like it's some fucking party is not going to help us get through this. of immense historical importance. Anyone who bunked off Roten High ended up down here drinking beer. And this is where Rafe is going to meet me if he wants his camera back. Good day, Lord Rostan. Oh, my good lady Rostan, how are you? <laughs> Old Glory. Oh, my God. 57 Old pence. Old Glory. Yes. God, they still make it. <laughs> I hope they still make it. Wow. It may be the case that this is from the batch that he still had the last time I went in there. I think mine's got hairs floating in it. That's... I can't drink this because I've got a wedding. I've got a wedding dress fitting this afternoon. Good. Definitely. I'm supposed to be drink drinking that. wheatgrass. Well, enjoy that. We have a taste, though. One taste. And it's wow. just as revolting oh. as I remember. Don't put hairs on your hairs. <laughs> So how did you end up in Lucerne? It was Grant's idea. A European college to help prepare for society. Like university? Uh, one of the lessons was how to listen to a conversation. <laughs> You're kidding. How long did you last? Six days. Wow. I got chucked out during how to get out of a sports car without flashing your knickers. I wasn't wearing any. I was. <laughs> anyway, things went downhill from there. How? Mm. Well, basically, just more and more debts. Go on. There was a hire car driven into a lake. Wow. There was an affair with the bloke who took the stitches out. He was lovely. I had a fight with his wife. <laughs> I got on with this biker gang. I mean, it was incredible. And just the loveliest guys. Um, but turned out they were basically using me as a drugs mule. <laughs> I realised I had spiked my own drugs. <laughs> the bloke had to have his tooth removed. He's suing me because it turns out he's a flautist. <laughs> she set my ponytail on fire. No. And the rest of the bar, it was awful. <laughs> I had to leave Italy after that. <laughs> my mum and dad had to fly out while I'm like in hospital waiting till I'm fit enough to stand bail. <laughs> oh my god. 
And that's when Saskia Dutton became Saskia Critchley. Right, come on, come with me. Where are we going? Ray. This is the summer house. Mum and Dad bought it when we were small. Oh, look. <gasps> you can imagine coming here when you were a kid. Swallows and Amazons and the famous five all rolled into one. So peaceful. What the? F the River Dee was a vital water course for the Romans. Oh, well, that's it new. In the hills in Lack Wycliffe, in North Wales. Oh, <laughs> Deep lock. <laughs> wow. Look at this. <laughs> they always said they'd see the world, Mum and Dad. So when they died, me and Tim decided we'd uh, do the trip for them. Sold the house. Bought tickets. Head to Patagonia, where they were. I made it, but Tim didn't. Did he make you? No, no, oh, not like that. No, no I, he should have stayed. Oh. I'd have really liked you. See if you can hit that stick. Even we run Rubbish. <laughs> this is the tree. Tim could never climb it, but yours truly is basically Spider-Man. Wow. Come on. Huh? Come on. Thank you. That's nice. Um, you're right. Not really. Um, help? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I wanted them to be like uh, footprints of all my travels. So uh, I got that in Tijuana. Cool snake. Uh, they say you never fall in love with a stripper, but that's California. Hello, Chigi. Um, monkeys fighting robots. That's, well, Tokyo, obviously. And then uh, up here on my chest, I got this Maori guy to design, uh, well, it was uh, beautiful, uh, my mum and dad's birth signs. Sort of. oh. Yeah, uh, except it went septic. So uh, I went to Dagenham, and this bloke covered it with a massive fucking oh. dragon. Oh, my God. Sweet, right? All <laughs> uh, right. Um, yeah, turn that off. Seriously, <laughs> turn that off. Rog, um, Gina Palladia, Fourgate Street. We're going to do a special shot. <laughs> Bring a guitar. Okay, cue music, Rog. And here comes the bride. <laughs> what? That's what the models say. What? Ow, cock. 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 <laughs> Right, uh, give me tigress. Oh, oh protect your... <laughs> uh, ninja. Hodawa! <laughs> uh, okay, dance for me. My flamenco beauty. You must dance! Whoop! Saskia? Sas... Sask Rafe! Rafe! Sas! Saskia! Rafe! What do I do? Do you want me to keep filming? 
Sorry, mate. Sorry. Um, there you go. Sas! Rafe, please, come back. Saskia! Saskia! What? What do I do? Rafe! Bingo. Can I just say the thing that anybody would say to a woman two days before her wedding? I'm not You're nervous. Just... All right. Well, Dr. Rafe's in session. Taking patience. Ding. Come on. I'm very compassionate. Compassion's nature's way of helping ugly men find partners, so... I'm unhappy, okay? And it's dark. Like, imagine the darkest colour you can imagine. Like, black, but even darker. Well, it's like this sticky, dark oil that's been poured into my heart and it hurts. And it's just this big, black, smoker's lung. <laughs> And happiness, just dripping with blackness. Fuck. <laughs> Year 11. You bunked off halfway through cross country, got on a bus, just so you could see the Chemical Brothers check out of a hotel. April that same year. The week Kurt Cobain died, you asked if you could read an assembly. But you didn't read from the Bible, you read out Nirvana lyrics. Even when they tried to drag you away. Sports day, you pierced your ear and it bled and you cried for an hour. And the little kid in the ear below you bought you some ice cubes and you smiled at him. And that smile stopped his heart. And I'll never forget that smile. So anytime you feel less than fantastic, you remember. You're Saskia Dutton, Saskia Dutton. They didn't. Oh, they didn't. Oh, please tell me they didn't. So has someone seen them? Someone definitely knows. Oh, great. Something wrong? The Koreans who were going to do foot massage in the toilets just got deported. Hey, Rafe, what are you going to do about this? Hmm? Please tell me you're going to tell him. Rog, turn the camera off. No chance. Right, this give me the is, camera. No, this scene is far too hey. little. Old Cheshire Glory. It's his favourite. It took me ages to find it. Apparently they stopped making it. It killed too many tramps. Rafe's got something to say. Go on, Rafe. No, 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 listen, that should be me. Um, look, I just want to say, no, I'm, no, 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 I'm no, sorry really. for being arsey and stroppy, you know, with everyone. It's just the, it's just the wedding and the whole, ah! Yeah, no, I don't. But think no, look, I took myself to one side and I gave myself a very stern talking to, and you know what? Everything's fine. You know, I'm fine, the wedding's all fine, because I know I'm doing the right thing, aren't I? And Saskia's all right. I mean, you'd know he's a much better judge of women than me. Yeah, uh, Saskia isn't... Leicester. He asked me what town she was, and I said, Leicester. <laughs> yeah, she... <laughs> she's not Leicester. No. She's Rio and Mardi Gras and Amsterdam and Barcelona in the rain. <laughs> yeah, you see, I've never been to any of those places. 
Well, you don't have to now. You're marrying Saskia Dutton. The world comes to you. <laughs> the Moyle brothers. All for one and one for all. Your woman is your angel, is your left side, your whole life, and easily the most beautiful thing in your world. She'll soothe you, accuse you, confuse you, she'll lose you, but always be the best friend you have in the world Time and space Things in their place I know it's more than a feeling Cause my love, it has no ceiling for I just wanted to say everything's fine. Oh! <laughs> it's funny, I was just thinking how fine everything was. Oh. So... Good. Um, well, that's what I came to... Say? Yeah. And what I was just thinking. Um, good. Obviously a bit... weird, but, um... It happens. Oh, all the time. Yeah. Happened to me once on a ferry. What? <laughs> what? What are you? I don't know. What were you saying? How in the kebab? Oh, shop when I. Yeah, no, done, erased. Don't worry. No, I'm... no, I mean that there obviously uh, there are things to um, to. Address, um, but for me and Tim, not, oh, not <laughs> no, look, thing, you know, just get this just, wedding out of the, the way yes. and then sort yeah. out the marriage, yeah. After, I mean, don't have to sort it out, no, just, no, because uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. you've got two days so, yeah, till the wedding, yeah, which you know, you've, you've seen the schedule, oh, so. God, bloody <laughs> Jenna, <laughs> she's uh, uh, um, cool, so I guess. I will see you then. So. As long as you're fine. Oh. <laughs> God, yeah, I'm fine. All right. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. So have you, uh, organised anything? Well, I just thought you'd prefer... Huh. Mm. No. Well, it's just as well I booked a stripper. What? What? Roger, we went through this. I said Tim's not going to want that sort of thing. Come on, Matt. Tim Moyle, you've been a very naughty boy. For fuck's sake. It's fine, mate. Calm down. Oh, come on! It's my fault he's like this. Mate, I'm fine. Completely fine. Don't worry. Drink! Hey. Here we go. Internet ultimate stag night challenge list. No, no, yes. here. No, we're not doing some dopey bunch of challenge. Number one. Three shots in three seconds. Go. Number two, join another stag party. So that's interesting. Because actually, we thought of using those cages. Okay, okay, skip that one. What's next? Wait, you! You've been shouting out my birth! Alright, alright, thank you. Number six, kiss a policewoman. Seven, join a hen. Ow! Don't do that! Yeah, oh, sorry, ladies. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like that.
So, it's a big day. You feeling nervous? Uh, well, yes, of course I'm nervous, morning of the wedding, but... But the skill of the planner is to remain a pool of calm. And how do you manage that? Uh, well, I can't remember what they call, but it's fine as long as you don't mix them with alcohol, OK? This is Critchley. How are you feeling? Well, this is the big day. The day we've all been building up towards. And uh, we're suitably nervous. Champagne at the ready. Excuse the curves. Fridges for ice sculptures on your left, chocolate sculptures on your right. Right now, not now. Where the hell is my Falcon? Falcon! Good. Thank you. Can get my hat from the bathroom? Bad things there. Thank you very much. Hat. Yes. It's frenzy here. Absolute frenzy. I wonder if it's anything like this at Tim's house. Tim, Tim, wake up. It's morning. It's ten o'clock. Oh, my God. <coughs> oh, my God. Oh, my... It's ten o'clock. What the fuck am I wearing? <laughs> Ray! Ray! It's a wedding day. Go and get up. Help me out here. Help me out! Oh, no, stay still, stay still. Help me out, you're dead. I can't go to the wedding dress like a cop. Oh, goodness me. I'm getting nervous now. Rafe, don't finish that. Sorry. Put this on. Put this on. 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Shoes, shoes. 50 minutes to get married. It's got to feel rock solid. It needs to be further forward. OK, is the best man's speech written down? Because I need to see it. I mean, not to interfere, but just to, you know, check the language. Because uh, Alex says no jokes um, about Europeans because I... the Belgian ambassador's going to be there. Two. And also, um... OK, out the gate, as the guest approaches, you smile. And then you strew flowers. You keep it strewing, strewing. Okay, but it's important you remember the names of the ushers. It's Toby, Fraser, and Yuri. He's the son of the ambassador. And it, they need to know that it's their job to marshal everyone for the photograph. Because the photographer says that if it looks sorry, what's happened? What do you do? What, is, there, is it a tire? Is it blown out? Have we got a spare? What? Where are you going? What's that noise? What? Oh, oh no, you're not going to be sick. Don't be sick on the suit. Okay, just don't be sick on the. Ray, I have what's to the tell matter? you something. No, you don't. You have to get back in the car. I have to it's... confess. About what? About Ray, me said... and Saskia. Right, ten minutes. So I'll go in the first car with your gran, okay? Mum, don't. What? I know what you're going to say. You do. And believe me, seeing you walk down the aisle with a man you love, that'll be thanks enough for me. Wish me luck. Kissed you. Why? Oh, well, we were in the kebab shop and she kissed you in a kebab shop. It's because she's unhappy, Tim. That's why. You know? <laughs> and I don't think you're very happy either. And I think you should admit that. I'm fine, I told you. Fine's not good enough though. Before I went travelling, you were more than fine. You were... And I come back and... <laughs> Whatever it is that makes you happy, I'm in. But this wedding isn't it. What happened in the kebab shop happened because Saskia isn't happy either. And yet you're both going to turn up at that church it's and do something... Late. 
It's not too late. Can't talk to her at the church in front of her we'll family. We'll go to the That'll hotel be... then. The bells are going to start in like 12 minutes. She'll have left the hotel. She's a bride. She'll be late. Right, OK, it's Saturday morning. We've got to get across town. Roger, yeah. go, go, get back in the car. Go, go, have go. you got the keys? Keys, keys. We don't need the keys. Have yes, you... keys, get the keys. And I said, I'm practically wearing a dress anyway. <laughs> I can stand in for the bride, but not the groom. <laughs> Sorry, are you saying that the groom hasn't arrived either? <laughs> Get in the car! Get in the car! All right, all right. I don't believe this. Come park there on a Saturday, mate! You've got to go. Go. You've got to go. You've got to see it. Right. Oh, piss off! Hey, and you. Come on! Flamingo. In two hours, it'll be a goose. In three hours, a duck. In four hours, I will be serving my guests vodka in a fucking ice puffin. Okay, okay. Thank you. Right. Right, 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 right. They won't go on the motorway, it'll be on the Old Tester Road. <laughs> not clear, repeat, not clear. <laughs> The ambassador's not clear for Zone 5. The dog won't go in because of the Falcons. Oh, dogs are in. The dogs are in the... Dogs have cleared the plane. Oh. What plane? Yeah, sniffer dogs. Sniffer dogs. Sniffer dogs are clear. That's it. We're clear for sniffer dogs. We are ready to board. Is that a bed? Yeah, that is a bed. OK, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Sorry. Marry me, Sass. Tim, it's our wedding day. Yeah, it's our wedding day. It's the happiest day of our lives, and and we can absolutely say if we don't want it. Do you want it? Say that a word ever. Mm -hmm. Shh, uh, shh, mm -hmm. yeah. shh, shh. Please be seated, madam. Thank you. Oxygen masks. Okay. Ambassador. Okay. 
When? I mean, how? I mean, why now? I told him. What? What happened in the kebab shop? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God. Why did you do this? Because it was the right thing to do. If you want to marry Tim, be my guest. Those are your bells, your cars, half a mile from here, a wedding with your names written all the way through it. But you, you are the most decent, wittiest, loveliest bloke a brother could ever ask for. And you are the girl who got me through school. If I'm really honest, life, probably. So. It's about time that the people in those two cars manned up, started being really honest with each other, and bail! Because for God's sake, if you don't, the light in the two people that I love the most goes out. Um... Yeah, I... Uh, I may have just told you I love you, and I probably should have told you that before you stood here in the middle of a field on the way to marry my brother. But um, if it's any consolation, I literally only just realized that myself. So there we are. I love you. Does this mean I don't have to give a speech? She's not coming, is she? Well, there we go. I rather feared sending her to finishing school was like painting varnish on a diseased toenail. Mum. Welcome to my world, Alex. Welcome to a lifetime of publicly apologizing for your daughter. I think I'll leave you to work out what you're going to say to everyone. There's something I have to tell you, and it's not going to be... I know, please remain in your seats until the captain has turned the seat valve signs off, please. Thank you. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today, joined together in holy matrimony, Saskia and Tim. Uh, we're not. Um, ladies and gentlemen, hi. Alex, Des, you made me feel like part of a family at a time in my life when I most needed one. Thank you. But that's no reason to marry your daughter. There's only one reason why a couple should do that. Fortunately, there's a couple here who know why. And fortunately, they're both very close to me. Rafe, <laughs> pronounced like a dog throwing up. <laughs> Rafe! <laughs> a 
away. Are you sure about this? Band's red, it's a place. Got the audience here, so. Yeah, there's got to be a bit of it you can do. Do you think maybe you could improvise? It would almost be like being an, an actor. Dearly beloved. I know, what the hell were we thinking? But honestly, it was the greatest day. Not that the rest of the day went without a hitch. Saskia forgot that her bouquet was largely made of metal. Patricia put on a fur hat and got attacked by a falcon. Well, I don't care whether it looks worse or not. It's extremely embarrassing. And somebody turned on the overhead fan during the butterfly release. But the best bit was the father of the bride speech. When I was my daughter's age, I ran away from home to the Isle of Man. <laughs> and there I met a Frenchman who showed me a bit of tenderness, a bit of compassion, went on to show me several other things, including his campsite, his tent, his genitals. <laughs> but to that boy, whoever he was, <laughs> and I've genuinely no idea and to my mother, I owe everything. Because that combination of coldness and warmth meant that I ended up with this. You know, when a bride's late for, for a wedding, most normal women assume, well, it's an attack of nerves, but I genuinely thought that history had repeated itself that she might have done a runner from me and found her Isle of Man and, and gone and I wouldn't have blamed her because I'd made that mistake we so often make I'd grown to be more like my parent when I should have grown more like my child <laughs> I expect you've spotted that Saskia didn't marry Tim. In fact, she didn't even legally get married. I don't actually know why, but I don't care. I don't care. I just want you to be happy. And just come shopping with me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> There we are then, the end of my wedding video. <laughs> Not what I thought I was making when I started. I mean, I did have a hunch how it would end, with the groom looking at the bride, knowing that he is the luckiest man on earth. That shot.
back and George Emanuel. So we sit down, we do an interview, and we draw up a character profile, and then we match the flowers direct to your personality. Anyone ever come back as a cactus? No. Triffid? Yes, madam. Cauliflower. <laughs> About eight and a half inches? <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Take you as Mrs. Frodo Baggins. Oh, bugger! Wrong ring. Thank you. I need a lake. I need a lake and a pond. Right, ready, go. Everything all right, gentlemen? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Is your woman, is your angel, is your left side, is your whole life, and easily the most beautiful thing in your world? Just for me. Every word. <laughs>